Uh, okay, so I just wanted to, uh, I already have a video coming out today at some point. Uh, it's kind of late, so it's probably going to be out a little later. So probably this going to be, uh, you might be watching this on, uh, <clears throat> on Wednesday, right? Yeah, it'll be out, it'll be out today on Tuesday, but uh, you'll probably be watching it by Wednesday because it's going to be out a little later. Um, but I wanted to make this video, uh, because apparently today we got some news, uh, about the new Halloween stuff. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of like, uh, it, all in all, for those of you who saw the video, I mean, uh, Tacho did a video, Phoenix Maxter one did a video, so I mean, most of you already saw them. Um, but I wanted to point out something here that I think is probably the, the biggest, like, takeaway from that banner. Um, and you can see here, obviously it's, you can hear the music and I just have that in the background. So we'll get to that in a, in a minute, but it's not like, it's not something wrong here. It's, I'm going to, I'm going to bring up the, uh, you know, something. So we'll take a look at here, but, um, let's take a look at this first. So this is probably the most interesting unit out of the entire thing. Now, Phoenix Master 1 alluded to the point that, um, his tome is one of the most unique tomes we've ever seen. Uh, so let's take a look here. Uh, what exactly does this tome do and why am I making this video? Because to me, right, this is, it's, it's hard not, it's hard for me not to say this is one of the, like, this isn't, this isn't broken. I want to point out here. This, it's not gonna like destroy the balance of the game. Like this is not the bro the most broken thing you'll ever see anywhere ever, right? Um, <laughs> but it's hard it's hard not to like see the strength of this um and, and we'll i'll talk about this you know we'll talk about this right now where the strengths of this lies uh why i think it's so uh yeah i guess you know we'll, we'll just see we'll, I'll, I'll, we'll take a look at it here um so what's the what's the hullabaloo here what, what, what why am i kind of <laughs> stressing out about this unit uh, for one, he's a four-star focus unit, right? So I think for most of you, I might summon. I really don't want to. I'm probably not going to because I don't care about him too much because I already have Felicia, and Felicia's my favorite unit. Uh, and I'm working on uh, Brunya, who will be my other favorite unit during Astra. But anyway, that's that's besides the point. Let's take a look at this tome. So it gives him HP plus five, which is probably the most valuable thing this tome can give him, aside from its own ability, right? So let's take a look at the ability. So the unit gains each of these stats equal to the highest respective stat from among allies within two spaces during combat. And somebody misspelled uh, spaces on this on this thing here. <laughs> Sap kids. Um, I guess they were in such a hurry to type down this monumentous like uh, tome <laughs> that. Um, but. Calculates each stat independently at the start of combat. If unit stat is highest, stat will decrease. So if he has a higher speed than... If all your units are within two spaces, none of them have higher speed than him, his speed will lower to match the highest speed among those other units. Um, so yeah, right? So that's something to consider. But grants uh, grants this, right? So this is what's, what's kind of worrying. So... Let's kind of look over here. Of course, uh, immediately what we take from this is merges don't mean anything on him. Th these stats down here don't mean anything. Don't worry about him. Give him, make sure he has the double blessings. Uh, and then his, his HP will be at least 57. Plus his tome is already 65. On an, on an unmerged unit, mind you. On an unmerged unit with three... And this is why this is what to me is is so powerful about him. You can run triple mythic with him, right? Uh, Plumeria, uh, Naga, and Altina, and and I'll show you why you would want to, why you might want to, in a second here. Uh, but you can run triple mythics on him. He gains 15 HP, so 47 plus the 15 uh, gets him. And then not not that's not even to mention if you pull a uh, let's see where a high. So you, if you pull an HP boon. So this is an HP boon, uh, non-merged, uh, level 40 with the weapon, 55 HP, plus another 15 from uh, the three the three mythics gets him up to 70 HP. That's a humongous HP stat. 
Um, and that's not even, like I said, that's not including merges, which you don't have to merge them. I don't suggest merging. If you just pull one, get out of there. I mean, you know, pick whoever you want, right? He's the four-star focus, so hopefully you'll get him before you get whoever else you want. But personally, there's no one I want on this banner aside from him, and it's really not worth, like, pulling because I don't really care about him too much. Um, but I'm, I am very worried about the power he has um, <laughs> with him, right? So... Okay, so we got this weapon. Uh, let's take a look down here. Not, nothing too uh, too interesting. You're, you're going to replace this with uh, close counter, of course, or close foil, whichever one you prefer. Uh, I think close counter is the way to go on him. Uh, like I said, we're about to uh, understand why. Um, and then infantry hexblade. I think he's going to be a, a focal unit. You're going to use him as your main carry. Uh, so the fact that he has infantry hexblade is kind of worthless because uh, I don't know who you're supporting with this unless you get like another of him. Oh, wow, he actually has this at 4-star, which is amazing, right? Because, uh, oh, okay, never mind, it has to be adjacent, which I thought it was uh, two spaces, but anyway. Uh, like I said, this is a support skill, and I don't see him being used as a support unit, right? So this is what I find interesting, um, particularly with him. So let's come over here. So what's with this Bramimon? Why are we? Why do we have this Bramimon here? He's not in, he's not in this uh, unit builder thing yet, so uh, as you can see up here. He's not in this unit builder thing yet, so we can't really like think about what you know what's going on with him. Uh, so let's just pretend this is him. Uh, again, you don't have to worry about these stats. This is all just fluff. It doesn't matter, right? Because his tone will replace these stats with higher stats based on who's coming with you. So all you have to consider is let's bring close counter in the B slot. I, you could literally you could run whatever you want here. Uh, you can run vantage. See vantage because he's a because he's an infantry unit. You can run special spiral. If I can get that, you can run special spiral. You can run the lulls if you really feel like you want to. I don't. I mean, do I think you should run lulls? Probably not. It's not really useful on him. Um, but like basically, yeah. So, so there's that. Okay. So you can run all kinds of stuff on him. There's not a whole lot you would really want to. I mean, maybe like guard or something or just honestly. The thing is, the lulls are good, but the, he's a, we'll see why the lulls aren't aren't as useful in a minute. Uh, Special Spiral is good, although it's a, it's a pretty premium skill. And one of the things about this guy is, like I said, he's a four-star unit. So, you know, he's you, w he'll be at max potential without, any, without even any merges as a four-star unit after you five-star him. He is a very cheap, good option... For like a mega mage tank, like just sweep carry for your Astro season or your. I'm, I'm doing Astro season. I'm not entirely sure <laughs> why. Um, I'll have to think about. We'll look here uh, whether he'd be good on 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 light season. I think he could be pretty good there too. But anyway, yeah, I think he'll be good there too. We'll we'll, we'll go over there and over there and, and take a look at that in a second. Um, but so this is on Astro season. Like I said. You just you just need a close counter, which is in the uh, manuals, the, the the regular manuals. Give them whatever you want here, literally whatever you want. If you want to heal, you want to kill them on the one shot on the counter, uh, anything you want. C slot, you can bring res smoke, you can bring a, any smoke, you can bring uh, pulse smoke, um, panic smoke, whatever whatever kind of smoke you want. It's up to you. Um, and then down here, you can again, you can put whatever you want down here. You can bring uh, fear stance or or just anything really. Um, but yeah, so that's that, right? These are, these are, these, like, this is why I have him here blank, because, because of Zane's book and everything about him, you can just run whatever you want on him, and he'll probably win you most of your matches. So let's go see why. So let's pretend you're running triple mythics. You're running a Naga. Let's pretend she's plus one. You can, you can drop the, the plus one if you want as well, right? Be fine. With the Divine Breath, she reaches 57 attack. You give her the Life and Death 4, and we can drop this down to Life and Death 3, right? For less premium stuff. I run her on Life and Death 3 to soak chills off of my uh, Felicia. Uh, but you can give her the Life and Death 3, and she's got 40 set, 45 speed if you get a speed uh, refined, some feather investments, some flower investments, I mean. Uh, you can take this off as well. Um, uh, you can even, you know, don't have to worry about that either. She's got 41 speed. Let's put, let's, at the, at the absolute worst. She has 41 speed with 54 attack. Basically, you're giving these two attack stat, these two stats over to Zane. So now he has 54 plus 41. But the way phantom speed works, let's go, uh, 
check OBS to see make sure how do we do this. Will that go on top? No, it won't. Um, let's put that there. Okay, so here's Phantom Speed. Uh, Phantom Speed works by if skill compares units res to foes res or allies res, treats that res plus five. I don't have, I'm not using this, so it's not really worth it right now. Um, I don't have the Phantom Speed either because I don't really use Phantom Speed. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's so that's the point I wanted to make out, right? The Phantom Speed goes up to nine at three, which basically means that her speed is 50 right now. So 54 attack and 50 speed are both given over to Zane at a base. So now he just has that because of his book, right? So like his offensive stats are basically rock solid now. Like I said, you can invest a, a little bit more. Hopefully you get like, a, you know, another merge. There you go. That's two more speed. Uh, if you have, you know, a second Naga. Um, uh, if you have a boon, right? A speed boon, that's, she's already up to uh, four, 54 speed without even breaking a sweat. And then, you know, some flowers. Let's see what we get here to, you know, at two, you got even more speed. At three, uh, you want, the reason I had her at four is because you get that one extra attack because you're basically taking her attack and her speed because uh, it's so high. And then let's say you want, like, you know, higher end, right? As always, we want to, like, higher end here. So now you've got, what, plus nine, 57 speed and 57 attack. That is, that, that's monstrous uh, offensive stats as you're looking at it already. Now let's take a look at Plumeria. Plumeria has a very monstrous res stat. Already, basically, you give her just low investment. Fortress res, uh, Phantom res three. She's got 59 res. That means that Zane now has 59 res. Um, let's see. That's assuming you have a res, a res boon, right? Maybe you get a, a plus one. Oh, that didn't actually give you anything. So don't don't worry about the plus one, I guess. Uh, you have to go all the way to plus two if you really wanted to. Uh, but you plus one. Uh, uh, but yeah, so at a base level, that's that. Uh, you can give her the four, the four flowers, but I wouldn't really suggest it because it does take that fourth flower to get her up to 49. Um, and you're already investing your flowers. Like there's, there's, the thing is, there's, there's, all three of these are flyers. So they're stretching your flowers kind of thin. So it's up to you to decide uh who you whose flowers are, are worth it right who, who who deserves the flowers so 48 res plus again the phantom res is here that's another nine that's 57 resistance stat just given on to him right and then so basically you've got your attack covered your speed covered your uh your res covered and then we come over here and we get your defense covered of course it's a little harder because um, none of the, neither of these are very, uh, defense tanky. Um, so you have to kind of settle with Altina here. Uh, giving her the two, uh, Fortress Red, Fortress defenses gets her up to 42, uh, which is going to be as high as you can kind of go with that. Um, I have a plus two Altina, but, uh, let's see what a plus one gets you. So a plus one, um, some people even have like a plus 10, right? It's, it's not a whole lot more stats. Uh, but 45 is 45, right? It's like, you know, who's going to complain? Um, and then again, I have her at a plus four just because she's useful on Astra by herself. And then, uh, I, mine is plus attack, but if you get like a, there you go. If you, if you don't, if you have a neutral, that's already another, uh, point in, in defense. And then if you, if you want to invest that hardcore, you go into the, the plus, uh, defense, uh, Altina and there you go. Well, 49, if you have a plus 10 Altina, but, uh, if you have a plus 10, you probably already have the, um, the plus attack. So don't, there's not too much to worry about there. Uh, but if you have like the plus one and you're working on like a plus two or plus three and you're, and you're boosting up, if you want that investment, there you go, a 46 defense. Um, so Zane now has 57 attack, uh, 57 speed, 57 uh, res, and uh, 46 defense. Like, it's uh, honestly like Zane looks like no joke right now. Um, he looks like a very good uh, Astra investment. Let's go take a look at what he might. Um, like I said, so that, that's kind of what these were for to, to look at some uh, uh, to look at what you know. What skills would you run on him? And the answer is basically whatever you want, honestly, because with these stats that he's basically just like borrowing from everybody, you're already done. Like he doesn't need any other skills. Like any other skills on top of that are just like set dressing, honestly. Um, but yeah, so let's kind of look at uh, let's look at the light season, see what he can pull off. Light season is going to be a little harder uh, because so let's we have 
We have air. Air is pretty good because if you have like a plus 10 air, uh, if uh, this thing can work right, plus 10 air, maybe, you know, the initial five flowers and let's say you got a plus attack and then which is Lithia Berg. Uh, and then we'll, we'll uh, give her life and death here. Life and death four. So there you go. So that's, uh, let's see, Phantom. So there you go. From Air herself, you're already getting 58 speed and 61 attack. Uh, if you want to invest as much into her, right? Uh, mine is, uh, I have like a life and death on her. Again, to soak chills. But uh, those of you who've seen my Aether Raids videos, uh, she doesn't always do that. <laughs> Um, but there you go. I mean, even this is like, it's it's pretty good. If you have a plus 10 air now, you know, you might not have a plus 10 air laying around like a plus 10 flowers or something like that. It, it's it's not always guaranteed. Uh, but the fact that she has good speed and good res and like she has really bad, like she has decent res, uh, but she's got like really bad defense. You can just patch that up, right? So let's go to, you know, what's the, basically you just take all of air stats. But, you know, the one thing you're missing here is right, can be patched up by Mila. Who, Mila, who obviously we've been talking about having um, a humongous defense stat as well as having a giant res stat. So there you go. Uh, let's go find uh, this. Let's give her the fortress res here. There you go. Now you basically, on with only two units, you don't even have to run the triple mythic, which I do still suggest you run the triple mythic, right? But before that, you already have, let's go with Fan. So he might even be better on, on, on Astra because you have more attack, more uh, defense, and more res here. Phantom res. Uh, and then we'll give her, where's, uh, oh, well, I forgot that we had to change that out. But there you go. From her, you're getting 53 defense, which is already higher than what you had with the Altina. And you're getting uh, 51 res, which is not as much as what you're getting here. Uh, but it's it's a decent trade off. The fact that one unit is giving you both of these so so highly, um, and then you know merges or whatever might uh, factor in on that. I don't know how many. I, I think a lot of people did kind of decently go in on Mila when she came out. Um, but yeah, it's up to again, it's up to you, like whatever merges you threw into her. Uh, a defense boon. I think most people went for the defense boon because of her uh, isolation effect. Uh, but not only that, like right, you get the isolation plus all these stats that you just handing over to Zane. So based on those two, and then you got, uh, I don't think Peony has anything uh, worth giving her stats. Yeah, her stats are kind of middling here. So but I would still suggest running the Peony, of course. Um, yeah, so we have the Naga here. So there you go. On Astra, it, it's gonna take all three, uh, and, and you're barely gonna be pushing a decent amount of defense. Um, but in Light Season, you're getting uh, the blessings. Unfortunately, you're not getting like. So take Felicia here as an example. Uh, apparently, we're getting attack defense solo, which is already just the dumbest thing I've ever heard. So now my um, Felicia is going to be even dumber on Astra, but that's besides the point. Uh, obviously, so this is her. This is her stats, right? Um, if you have like an Altina, she gets the plus three to attack. These bonus stats that that um, Naga, Altina, and Plumeria, or your myth Mythics are going to give you aren't going to work. Uh, because they'll be giving it to um, Zane, but Zane overwrites his own uh, his own stats, right? So they don't they're not important. Other than like like I said, the the health boost you get you gain out of them. Um, was I yeah? So that, that was the main thing I'm I'm pointing out. But then on here, not only are you getting all of those stats, but you're also getting like the plus seven from the uh, joint res hone or something like that. Yeah, joint joint joint. Hone Res 4, I think is what it is. Or or no, it might just be Hone Res 4. No, yeah, it's Hone Res 4. Um, but right, so, I don't know. Like, honestly, if, if you're, if you're like, having a hard time in Aether Raids or Aether, uh, basically just Aether Raids, uh, I, I really think that, you know, just pulling one Zane, uh, like I said, you don't even have to invest that highly. Just run around with, like, you know, your Altina. Give her a fortress res, and there you go. You have you've got forty. You've got, and these are low investment, right? It's just two defense, uh, two fortress defenses. Uh, let's pretend like you didn't get the res thing. But there you go. That that this is pretty low investment. A fortress res, and a uh, and a uh, fortress res three, uh, a phantom res three. Uh, Naga is the only one who's gonna probably take a little more if you want to give her the life and death, um, life and death uh, three. 
uh, then uh, speed, phantom speed, uh, yeah, that's fine. Right, so these are all very low investment stuff here. Right, you've got a decently fast unit, you got 49 speed, that's nothing to sneeze at, right? Um, but that's not even that's not even considering the fact that he is colorless, which means he doesn't have to worry about uh, triangle advantage. And then on top of that, he's not an armor, he's not a dragon, he's not a flyer, he's not a, a, a horse. Like, he doesn't have any weaknesses at all. Like, even remotely, there, there's it, it. There's really not much more to say. Um, like I said, it may seem like I think he's he's like broken or something. Uh, and I don't really think that, but I do think that he is quite strong. Like, you're... We're in for an interesting time. But I, I, what I think is interesting about it, most of all, is... Now we have a unit that makes Astra basically accessible to everybody. Um, like, ever. Like, you don't have to invest, like, a plus 10, you know... Like, a plus 10 Jom K or a plus 10, um, like, my Boki. I mean, no one's doing that, but <laughs> uh, if you wanted to, like, you don't have to do that anymore. You don't have to, like, a plus 10 Dagger unit, a plus 10 Kranya, plus 10 anything. You just need one Halloween Zane, get some decent skills on him, get the close counter, and you're basically good to go. Like, no one is going to be able to to box with with a, a color, someone who has no, a color, no color disadvantage with, you know, these stats because of the phantoms and you know the fact that all this stuff is being thrown on him and that's not even mentioning like the fact that you're running plumeria as the main dancer and doing everything that plumeria does right like it's it's pretty crazy like there's not a whole lot more to say it's just insane um what kind of what kind of stuff you're looking at here um and that's not even like right you can replace like if you don't have a plumeria you can replace her with the next best thing, right? You can replace her with like a Tethys. So those of you who have seen my uh, my videos, uh, you don't even have to run the Plumeria. You can just run the uh, well, you know, it'll be more. It, it's more uh, more investment. I don't know why it keeps doing this to me. Uh, there we go. Um, mine is plus HP, but if you like, I said, if you want to invest into 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 him, you can just like run her with the Tamari. And just dump it all into res, right? Like a phantom, a phantom res, uh, sudden panic, because sudden panic is too good not to have, uh, and then a fortress res here. What do I have? I forgot. I actually forgot what I have on her. Oh, she has. I actually forgot what I have on on mine. Um, <laughs> that's kind of weird. Uh, I don't know why how I forgot that. Let me go check to see what's on my A skill here. It might be HP five. Yeah, it's HP five on mine. But there you go. You can either run the HP five or the uh, the what's it called? Let's go find uh, Astro, I guess. Altina and Naga for fifty six. It's not the highest, but it, it you know it's fine. Um, but there you go. You can just take her res stat instead of the Plumerias, who's you know, uh, Tethys who wants a high res stat, right? Because you want to hit people with the Tamari. So not only do you have Panic, possibly you know, again, it depends on what you want to sacrifice there. You have the Tamari debuffs, um, and then you have like a, just a humongous rest stat. So it's just like I said, it's 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 easy to call things broken, and I like I said, I don't I don't think this is broken, but it, it's it's interesting to see what he'll do to the Aether raids uh, meta, and that's not even counting like. I'm doing this as like as cheaply as possible. Like you already, as if you're investing in Aether raids, you already need to have copies of these units, right? These already need to be here. But like I said, you can just run double mythics because that's the minimum you need to be running. Double mythics, right? Whichever two you want, and then pick like a unit who has a good stat of whatever you want. For those of you, uh, what was it? Let's go see if we can find her. Um, I think Edelgard. Uh, if you guys saw. Hmm. Yeah, Edelgard. Oh, Ed Edelgard. Let's see, 42. Ugh. Uh, 42. 45. Um, so for any of you, like, who want uh, Edelgard and her humongous attack stat, I don't actually know what her axe is. Look at that, that's 50-something. Uh... Look at that. Without any merges. 
you've already got 61 attack if, if you if you want to value the attack that highly. Um, if you want to just like, okay, well, we don't need... I'm not taking Plumeria, I'm taking Altina, Naga, and I'm taking Edelgard uh, for, you know, look at these stats. You're missing speed. And then all you have to do then is invest in, like, a decent Naga, and you've got a, you know, you're patching up your speed stat, and then you're just taking all of her good stats, and you're you're rolling with it. Um, at that point, you might just want to, like, run Edelgard. Um, but there you go. It's something to consider, right? Just take her gigantic, you know, ginormic... And she can benefit from them, right? So, like, Astra. Altina, she's getting the Altina buff and the Naga buff. So, if, you're, if you've if you got an Edelgard... Let's go get the plus one real quick. There you go. Let's, <laughs> let's uh, pretend like we have money. <laughs> we, uh, we went for the plus four, right? Let's uh, pretend somebody went with the plus four. Um... At this point, all you you know, what do you, what do you want to do? You want to run like, you can run the Phantom Res here, and there you go. Now you've got a 45, 50, and 70 attack stat, plus a you know, 50 speed stat. Like without breaking a sweat on two units, you're done. Like you're basically done. Um, yeah, it's it's, uh, and if you know maybe you want to ditch the Altina or the Naga or something, right? It's up to you. Like. These are these are very interesting times. Um, yeah, that's that's all I wanted to say is uh, is I wanted to point out um, basically how interesting uh, this this new character is. Um, those of you who want to try it out, um, you know, by all means, uh, let me know. <laughs> Tell me in the comments section uh, if you end up trying something like this. Um, I I look forward. I hope we do get to see him a lot. Um, look at that. He's got a 166 B BST. I don't know what uh, what it'll what's it at plus 10. I don't know. Who knows, right? I don't, I don't pay attention to the score. Uh, but like, gosh damn, dude, he looks like he's gonna have some impact. Um, gonna hit like a ton of bricks. Uh, but yeah, that like I said, it's it's leaving me sort of speechless. I'm just kind of repeating myself over and over again. Uh, certain things, it's just like what you can do with him on such low merges low investment is it's pretty uh it's pretty out there especially like there aren't a whole lot of people with a humongous res stat like defense stat you get people up there in like the 50s you know and then you know in combat you get people up there in the 60s and 70s worth of defense but no one really has that high res stat like the higher res stats you're looking at are like 40 you know, at the, at the high end, you're looking at 40. And there's not a whole lot of people running high res stat units on their defense. Um, yeah, so, like I said, keep an eye. Like, he might, like, he could just, like, you know, it's like, who, who needs pulse smoke, right? When you can just have your Zane stand there, face tank in Ophelia because your res stat is, you know, higher than her literal attack stat. And then you just, you know, you hit her after that. You know, you basically destroy her, right? Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, it looks pretty interesting. It looks like a lot of fun. Um, I wish I was into building, uh, like units like him, right? But I play this game as a waifu collector. So <laughs> unfortunately the fact that he's not, uh, not waifu is kind of, uh, deterring me there. Um, but yeah, so that, that's just, like I said, keep an eye on him. Uh, I think you should really pull for him. Uh, will I pull for him? I just, like I said, I just pulled on the Plumeria banner, uh, which is good. If you haven't pulled on the Plumeria banner, I guess you're lucky, right? Because, well, I mean, it's already over by the time this video is going to come out. I think there's like an hour left on, or on it or something. Um, I'm going to go take a look at that just to see. But if you waited and you and you paid attention, right, at, at, the, at the recording of this, this video came out like a couple hours ago, a few hours ago anyway. And there's four hours left on the Plumeria banner. So now you can sit here and choose, do I want to summon more Plumeria copies or just a Plumeria in general? I didn't, you know, whatever. Um, do you want to do that? Or do you want to save orbs and pull on this banner and try to get, you know, whatever hero you want to get? I, I didn't pay attention to the other ones. They're not really that important. Um, and then, you know, as an off chance, pull this level, you know, this four star unit, um, which I have a higher chance of pulling for. Uh, and then just piecing out, right? Like, it's, 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 as always, patience is rewarded uh, more often than not, right? It's like, the early bird gets the worm usually, sure. 
Uh, but when it comes to summoning, it's the second rat gets the cheese, you know. Uh, people run in, get kind of trapped by these bait banners. And of course, you know, Plumeria is not necessarily bait, but I, I mentioned this when I was talking about it in the in the, in the review of the banner. Um, I don't think it's bait, but it's like, it's better to, it's still better to hold off on your, on your, um, on your summoning. But, uh, you know, I summoned a, a few in, and if you want to see that video, of course, that's, you know, that'll be out sooner before this, so you can see how that went. Um, oh, actually, yeah, it's funny, because I can release that video first, and I'm like, oh, spoilers, but, uh, uh you, you've already, that video's already been out, so there's no reason not to. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh interesting interesting uh unit i i do find it interesting that like most the most the thing i find the most curious to me is how strangely strong the colorless tomes have been right because we didn't have any colorless tomes and we were like okay well when they do come out the you know the fact that it's basically just a colorless tome is already going to be strong but then bramimond is released and he is released with like skills that are already like that would make a regular color tome excessively powerful and then like they're just released on a colorless tome that has no weakness it was it's like it's so odd how overpowered um like i said it's not not necessarily broken bramimond you don't see him anywhere other, outside of defenses and he's not always like the hardest thing to deal with um but like you look at his you look at his tome and like his special ability and you just see like someone who has got like monstrous skills on top of the fact that they're already just one of the most unbeatable archetypes in the fact that they are colorless tome um his stats are leave a little something to be desired but um that's besides the point um but now looking at zane the the only second other colorless tome user and again, like on defense, Zane isn't very good the same way Bramimond is good on defense. But on player phase, he's a monster. Like he, like it, it's yeah. I find it so strange that like, like you could you could basically make a uh, Halloween Zane a colorless tome user, and then just give him like any other tome that's already been released, and he would already be like ten times better than every other mage because just by the fact that he's colorless and he has whatever other tome they have. But then they get they go out of their way to give them these ridiculous like abilities. It's 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 really strange to me. Um, but yeah, so you know, like I said, it's something to keep in mind. Um, we've been we've been getting a, a decent amount of like very strong units. Like for those of you who saw what's his name, uh, I forgot his name, um, Shinin. That's a very strong uh, bow user. Claude was a very strong bow user. Um, so we're getting these weird, like, colorless, like, very strong colorless, um, units with, with very little weaknesses. Now, obviously, Claude has a flyer weakness, but you can patch that up with Iot Shield. Um, but Shinnin doesn't have any weakness at all. He's a, well, he's an infantry unit, so you get destroyed by Poison Dagger, but when was the last time anybody with infantry, um, infantry effectiveness came out, right? Uh, but yeah, so something, it's just something curious, something to keep an eye on, like, why are they releasing so many oddly, you know, strong colorless, uh, especially mage units, but just colorless units in general? Um, it is quite strange to me. Um, but, yep, like I said, um, if you go for Halloween Zane, the only reason you'd want a plus 10 on him is, for one, just to flex on people, you have a plus 10 Halloween uh, Zane. Uh, but two, to get the, like the max hp on him because the other thing that he doesn't inherit is hp and the fact that he already has a base 55 hp uh at, without any merges <laughs> with that well as long as you get an hp boon right um without any merges like that's already insane like it's yeah it's you know be careful out there uh it's getting kind of scary having to deal with these because yeah i mean it's not much else to say other than that uh Hopefully uh, somebody could gleam something from this video. Maybe hopefully you know you, you can you found a combo that you didn't necessarily see though. Uh, it's kind of obvious, I guess. If uh, as soon as you see him, you can kind of start thinking like, oh, he can start inheriting these skills and these whatever and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, so you know, hopefully I, I could add something to this conversation. But uh, I think I'm, all I'm doing is like hype mongering, which I you know most of you should know. I already I really dislike that. 
Um, but also on that note, I'm making this video uh, October 6th. Uh, well, yeah, October 6th at 7 p.m., um, which is at, at this point, if you, if, you know, for those of you who want that timestamp, right, it's important. At this point, uh, Acris has not made his video yet. I don't know if he will make a video. I feel like he would, but I'm just, I wanted to say what I, you know, what I wanted to say before it was like, before his video came out and then I saw it and then uh, basically his opinions kind of like tainted mine. So before he made his video, I wanted to just kind of say my things. Um, but uh, if he does make a video, like I said, it's not guaranteed he'll make one, but if he does make one, basically just kind of like take a little bit of what you can from this video, but mainly focus on whatever he says, because whatever he says is usually, uh, you know, more right or more interesting or more worthwhile. Um, and I, I think for me, this is more of an initial reaction. So for me, I think he'll come out with more tempered expectations. Like he won't, I don't know, he'll, he'll just, I'm sure he'll look at it with, 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 with clear eyes. Uh, me right now, I'm just like looking at this, this unit that has like, Basically, to me, I'm looking at him. He's got infinite stats and everything. Um, but yeah, like you know, watch that video, take what he says, and and and, and look and see what um, what a better perspective is. Um, but me, like like I said, for me, I, I just look at him. He's got infinite stats. Like he's just he's he, he's it's done. Like he we, we reached the apex of um, CC Vantage strats on 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 Aether raids. Like here he is, though. Interestingly enough, the fact that they have to be within two spaces means he's just going to be a bait unit. There's nothing else he can do but be a bait unit. Um, but <laughs> if that's all he can do, that's still quite a lot that he can do, right? Um, so it's something it's something to consider. Like a lot of times, the strength in like a uh, Felicia is that you can like smite her or like throw her up to up there in the enemy uh, back in the enemy you know ball or whatever, and then just have him have her like snipe a unit. And then basically everybody else kind of falls into like, they just hit her and they just die. Um, it's not always so good when it's like, oh, I'm just going to leave this unit here. Because he has to be close to the other units he's, whose skills he's inheriting uh, to be able to just effectively sit there and bait and destroy everybody. Um, so a lot of people kind of, a lot of people build around that. They're like, okay, well, I'm expecting someone to just stand here and like take all of my hits. So I'm building around that. Um, whether he'll survive everything is, is yet to be seen, but I, I do think he's going to be very strong, um, especially for those you know mad whales who like want to plus ten him for the HP value, and then you know proceed to just like I said, he's gonna be he's gonna be very strong for like you know lower level kind of free to play esque people because you only need one, but you know again if if if, if we're talking if you're talking about a whale they have already not only are they probably considering plus tending him as a you know as a four star unit because it's going to be easy they already have a bunch of other plus 10 units with insane stats right they probably have like a plus 10 edelgard ready to go with low speed and then he just has to be around one other unit that has good speed and you're basically solid like you know you don't have the the, the armor weakness that edelgard has you don't have the color weakness that edelgard has um, and you're hitting res, which is by far the better stat to be hitting, because uh, in general, most res units, uh, most people's res is the lower of, of, on average, right? If you average all the stats of defense and all the stats of res, res will come out lower than than defense stats. Um, so you know, there you go. Basically, you have a magical auto guard with like all the stats and everything you could ever want, um, with high speed, so you don't have to run things like quick repost or vengeful fighter. Or anything like that. He just sits there and just bombs everybody. Like <laughs> it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a hell of an interesting time uh, to see what what people do with him. Um, but yeah, that, that'll be that'll be that. Just keep in mind, like I said, um, to me, one of the most interesting things is going to be the fact that like Phantom Speed and Phantom Res are there. Uh, now they have like such a a, a high tier use. It's so interesting to see. Um, but yeah, so that, that's kind of my. Uh, my spiel there we don't have any I, and I actually find it interesting now that I'm thinking about it we don't have any colorless melee units oh wait we have uh yeah we have we, yeah we do we have um beast units we have uh to barn we have uh well colorless to barn we have colorless uh canigan canigus um so yeah we do okay I was just thinking like there was no like 
colorless weapon, but there is. Uh, it's, it's called beast damage. Um, but yeah, so keep that in mind. Um, <laughs> prepare for him uh, any way you can. How can you prepare for such a... Uh, for one, he's very fluid, right? So like, you'll never know what stats he's got. You're just going to have to assume they're really high. <laughs> That's all you can plan for is just... He's got high everything. How do I beat someone with high res? How do I beat someone with all the defense or all the speed and all the attack um, at the same time, right? Um, so yeah, that's something you know, something to keep in mind for all of you out there. Fortunately, we have, like I said, you just pick someone like Edelgard and you're solid. And then um, the only thing you're missing is speed. So there you go. Get someone with decently high speed and give them the phantom speed for a plus nine and you're, you're good to go. Uh, that's not even mentioning the fact that you can just run like a speed res solo in the C slot, and there you go, even more speed, and you're patching up the, a little bit more of the res that uh, Edelgard is missing. So, like, <laughs> it's <laughs> there's too many combos to think about. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted. That's I guess that's all. I, I've already tried to end this video like twice, but I keep thinking of more stuff to do. Uh, but yeah, so that'll be it. Um, this will be af this will be out after the Plumeria summoning video. Uh, hopefully. Maybe I might get this. This video might actually just come out before Acarus makes his video. So something to consider. Um, well, actually, <laughs> I gave you guys time, but that doesn't mean anything because I don't know where I live. <laughs> um, but yeah, you, I guess you could just take my word for it. Um, Acarus hasn't made a uh, video on Zane yet, so that's all I want to say. Um, but like I said, if he does make a video, defer to him on 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 that. Like, if he if he wants to temper your expectations, I mean, that's again totally legitimate totally fine you know let him kind of like talk you out of thinking he's overpowered um and if he does think that zane is going to be overpowered i mean then that's when you should start worrying because if if it gets if it worries acarus um then you know <laughs> help us all right <laughs> um but yeah that'll be that all right i'll see you guys next time